you. For the first time in 20 years, Baton Rouge has its own professional sports team to cheer on, and we now know the name of that new pro hockey team coming to town. Our newest member of the family, John Eads, is in the studio today with more on this. Hi, John. Hey, Liz, thank you very much. I'm here, and well, maybe I brought some hockey with me. Thank you for the invite, by the way. Uh, today, we officially welcome the Zydeco to Baton Rouge. It's the Bayou's first hockey team since the Kingfish roamed the ice, and that organization didn't end up staying in town very long. Now, this new franchise is well aware of the pitfalls of the past and has strategies in place to rewrite this city's checkered pro sports history. They'll be around. We'll be fine. The owners of the newly minted Baton Rouge Zydeco are confident their team will catch on in the capital region. That's despite the concerning precedent set by the Kingfish pro hockey team between 1996 and 2003. They had excellent attendance the first year. Excellent. And it got worse every year until they were gone. The franchise moved away and the River Center sat empty without a pro team for two decades. Since then, the community has craved another chance to call a team its own, and we got a glimpse at just how badly Baton Rouge wanted hockey last winter. The turnout was eye-opening when the Federal Hockey League played three exhibition games downtown. They averaged a little over 7,000 a game, with the last one being sold out, and they kept going higher and higher. What's interesting is that the fans that showed up weren't exclusively from the local area. People came in from Alexandria, they came in from Bossier City, they came in from Monroe, New Orleans, all over the state. The organization hopes that a vast marketing approach targeting all of Louisiana, coupled with an emphasis on the fan experience, will result in a consistent following. It's not only about the game, it's about the entertainment. And you know, we've got a beautiful scoreboard going up there that's to be used during stoppages and icings and all that stuff where you can keep everything going and make sure that these crowd, the crowd goes nuts. That's, that's what I'm about. So there will be fights in this? Maybe not with you and me today, but there will be on the ice, absolutely. So we didn't, we didn't end up getting into a fight there, but on the note of fights, there's a team in Biloxi, Mississippi. It's the closest one to here in Baton Rouge. So maybe the possibility of a regional rivalry there, kind of like they had in Lafayette way back when the Kingfish were here. And now the organization's goal is to bring in at least 3,000 fans to each of the 28 Zydeco home games this year. All right, that is a good goal. And by the way, John, welcome to the team. And Thank you. you're joining us from Michigan. It's a little bit of a climate change for you. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of winter up there, obviously. And as I said, hockey's pretty big up there. So maybe it came down with me, maybe not. But I'm glad to be here. I've already got some peeling going on. I played some golf the other day, and the heat is something else. So You'll get used to it. Well, you'll see John on Sunday, uh, 9 News Sunday morning. So welcome to the team. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Still ahead from us, online safety. More